Hey guys, sorry for not uploading the video in so long. So, yeah, I'm back with Cafe Rude. Yeah. Anyway. The end. Rocket 008. Okay. Okay. Let's just watch this for once. It's probably the same other game, so. Yep, this is the same. That was when I first watched it. Really turn down the volume on my TV. Food Enterprise Bottle Studio. <laughs> Epic voiceover. It's epic. Pepper Mood. Or Rogue, I don't care. Developed by Sonya X. And Juan Rouge. Valen Michaels, Ron Davidson, okay, I'm good. That's Chris right there. Where am I? Somehow I knew. I was dead. Yes. Dead as a door, not dead. Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not dead. I'm not dead at all. I'm a fresh young, only sweet, sexy, and high school junior. I can't be dead. This is getting weird. Oh gosh, it's like one of those movies where you see a light and hear a voice from far away. Don't go towards the light. Hi, why is this happening to me? Are you even losing? Yes, what is it? Here, this is for you. I didn't reach out. I'm holding to me going to the golden pen. Is this for me? Yes, Shelly. I looked down, took the golden pen. There's a thin plate of gold, shaped like a heart. I'm described as wrong. Please, my. Yes, your initials. Of course, just for memory. Or a flash. Back to my life before I die, I don't know. That question, the whole wide world, he gave this to me. My precious heart necklace I always wore, he gave this to me as a present. He did. No. Who was he? I can't believe he's these. Here. And the bright light, you know, I, and the pallid walls of the nurse's office <laughs> greeted me. Goodness, you're finally awake. The old woman was next to me, holding my palm and checking through my pulse. Reaching out my arms, I lifted myself up in the bed. How long was I out? For a while, the usual. Staring at the ceiling, I searched for the clock. Dang, school's not even halfway over. I think I'll be fine the rest of the day. Are you sure, honey? I not in my head. I got out of bed. Oh, yeah, that's that rhymed. And the next class should be starting, and I need to head to my locker. Oh. Okay. Sounds good, kind of. Oh, no. I'm not going back in here. So, yeah, no. So I think I have to go in here. Something down here. Oh god, dang it! Something's happening. Hey, bro! No surprise, down there in my locker. Oh god! It's like you chatters are in my locker, getting close to the binder, and then it's flashed, and suddenly it occurred to me. We were in the middle. When we were in middle school, Valen gave me this nexus, like necklace, my heart pendant. Yet, why couldn't I see his face in those dreams? And the media, I reached my collarbone, clutching my precious treasure. Mr. Michaels, looking toward us, was Mr. Davidson. In the hands of colored sheets of paper. Hi, Mr. Davidson, is there a problem? Yes, do you know? Wait, what? I want to speak to you about your test results. I don't say something you know, first read. Oh no, Mr. Davidson, no, no. Or Mr. Davidson. And he doesn't really like to be called Tino. Oh, then what would you uh, rather be called Valentino? Seriously, get out from his eyes, huh? And he's gonna take you. step in. Or Mr. Davidson. He'd rather not be. Uh, says, no one cares. 
without any way. And Valon dashed and ran the other direction. Val, wait! He turned around the corner. Side, a poor cat. Oh, um, I guess the apology won't do now. Here, are side, this always happens. Poor Valon. Anyway, Miss Black, you forgot to take your form for the Virginia field trip. Field trip? That's the history department is signing an annual trip for the junior extension, you know? That's right, the annual history trip to Virginia! Virginia! The recon trip juniors take all the way to southern USA. I visit old mansion cotton plantation. Oh, really? Southern USA? That's like in. That's like the Mideast or something. The Middle East. Well, like, not the Middle East of the world, like India or whatever. I'm Middle East America. So I'm not angry about that. Civil war. Never mind, we just need to check and take a shirt from my parents. I took a sheet and paper in my hands. So let me see, I wasn't sure if I would go. Okay, so lock it. Zero. Lock it. Zero. Zero. Eight. Thousand. Million. Okay, thanks for getting me the form yesterday. Well, maybe a break from the cafe would do me good. Working too much might be unhealthy. I sense my co workers are vampires. No! Alright, but the deadline soon. Make sure you get the check for me. And it turned around, Mr. Davidson began looking the other direction and left foot. Okay, now they work. I can't go inside again? Okay. That's great. Great. I'm amazing at navigating through this place. See? I am awesome! This is another usual day. Anyway, it's cleaning and setting up everything so I close the door behind me. With nothing to do, I head inside the kitchen. Do a little mess in the, uh, something, something. Oh, so that's what Aldo looked like. I forgot what he looked like at first. Yeah. Hmm. Ready for today's menu? We got a lot to prepare today. I'm always in the kitchen. Maybe a change of scenery will do me good. Help Aldo. Another day in the kitchen won't be do, do me too bad. Besides, all, all this is pretty bearable. Alright, Aldo, what do you want me to do today? You're not going to do anything in the kitchen today. I lift my head around. A figure emerged from the shadow. Uh, the dark stairwell. And it, and to my left down, it was Demian. Oh, okay, so that guy in the... On the um, title page, it was Demian. I knew that. Uh, Demian was just about to start the stair you need to learn with the others. With the others. But Demian, she's right here. Are you disobeying me? It looks like you want to sit down and water, but at last you back down looking the other direction. Demian yanked my arm. You're coming with me. Oh, you, you jerked me along as we arrived at the main dinning howl. My arm was beginning to hurt, but I didn't dare say anything. What was he gonna do? I found out about my medical condition. When I finally thought he'd let me go, Damien suddenly yanked me down, throwing me to the ground. Get up. Ready to anger him, I scrambled up quickly. Now, poor this. He almost slammed a bottle of red wine down on the table. No, not red wine. He was, um, I don't think I could. Do. So, what do you want to do with your job? No other choice, Harry. Then the bottle of blood. My hands shook at the sight of the putrid thing. The bobber. The bobber. Not for enemies. He just threw a line of wine glasses. Gulping, I looked away as it popped open in the coarse roof. If I'm in a sense of rust and salt gold, which my nose was in, also me and my drained. Yeah. I love the type of blood, but it, like, it smells horrible. Take a step back, my knees felt wobbly. What are you waiting for? For! Shaking, I felt my hands give in as I stopped the blood. Thankfully, my grip came back as I clutched the bottle to me tightly. I had to do it. It was my job, and Damien was my supervisor. Carefully, I approached the table. What are you waiting for? Pour already! I took a deep breath and held. Here they began in the bloody red liquid. Splash. splash of red looked so disgusting and putrid, I wanted to puke. Those in my eyes, I refused to look. Oi, stop, that's too much. The glass overfilled and spilled. Now that rhymes. Over in my eyes, I quickly. 
and I pulled back my hands. My fingers were covered in blood. The bottle fell to the ground and shattered. A pool of blood flooded in. Now look what you've done. You can even pour one glass. That wasn't the only problem. I could feel my body give into the sight of red. Leaning myself on the table, I couldn't stand it any longer. Falling to the ground with a thud, my vision me to blur. Get to take the pool of blood anymore. I was going to faint. Get up, what do you think you're doing? Clean this mess up and start over. You waste one of our best bottles, you little. Her hands falling across the and face. Face. Hard, hard and sharp. Okay. The sound of the slap echoed throughout the dining hall as everybody stopped and turned all the way. Looking up, I immediately knew who it was. What is this, Damien? The expression on Demi's face confounded like he was stabbed rather than slapped. Okay, I I thought that Demian slapped Isis. His second his mouth gave gaped open. She turned to Antoine or rage. What else do you think? Are you blind? No one deserves to be treated that way. I'm trying to try to train her and she's saying let's say his cafe should be held up. What are you doing? Marrying some girl so easily. And just because this is some stupid whim. Mm, that's enough. No dare to move. All quiet. Demian and Antoine gave it a shine. Your eyes are not blinking. The air felt thick. Their eyes piercing each other. Icy gate. Oh, fuck a good narrator. Finally, Demian broke away. His eyes fixed upon me one last time. And with clenched teeth, he walked away. So, please help Miss Black. And I'll stay on clean up this mess. Swan bent down to one knee, reaching over to my face, my chin, cupping my face. Stop his fingers wiped through the dust and debris of glass on my cheeks before he stood up again. I'll be in my office. The brisk push to me. He walked out. The moment I left, he was angry. Darling, you are right. Let's get you a cup of water. I'm telling you, it's too much. This time I went too far. Too far. You and Candace, I turned off some assistance. I want and help me carry the tablecloth over. I'll get the mop and broom. I just walked out of the class. It's a little fit, slippery here. I had that thought everybody carrying me over and empty care as they regained my strength. But they told me there was more than just a boss and employee relationship between those two. I only took me away and knocked on the floor in the office. When I suddenly heard voices, a real surprise it was. I was uh, you a lot of people to bring in a human girl. It is a really stupid choice on your part. You don't know anything about her. What is she like? Pardon? You may have fooled everyone else. As expected expected you. Darling, you know I can stand here all day. You're a little messenger. My message is this. I'm bad in this pathetic excuse of memoir to come back to your family. I will never play down Cafe Reeves. If your mother's willing to forgive you for everything you've done. Fair enough. That's what I You really should set aside your pride, you know. It's not good for anybody. Especially for your little black lamb. And, and suddenly jumped it out of the seat, grabbing a concealed figure by the collar. They're just, she just human. Involving instant question or strict state law. No, no, it's me. We wouldn't want anything happening. Into our little lamb, how do we? Dot 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 Slowly, Antoine loosened his grip on the collar. He swung back into a seat in the high and the sky escaped from his lungs. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right out here. Cause like, yeah, you know, fine. Stop, I only have 15 minutes for these videos if you didn't know that. That's why most of my videos end at 15 and stuff. Cause like, you know, 15 minutes. Yeah. Get out of my office. Okay.